this, of course, is my giant tortoise, Matilda the Aldabra tortoise. And she looks absolutely spiffy right now. But the day didn't start out this way. We decided to give her a little makeover. All right, we're about to take our Aldabra tortoise outside to take a little bath in this nice summer day. Come on, Matilda. I was just dying, like, walking out. Our girl Matilda's over 100 pounds, so uh, as you can tell, they're struggling a little bit. Uh, Jay, this is a good workout for him. He hasn't actually lifted anything since 2010. <laughs> uh, the right. dog bather is now bathing the slob and the torch. Hey, yeah, it's kind of all I do around here is walk things oh, yeah. and bathe them. All right, we're going to brush all the dust and grime of all the hard work that she's been doing lately. Just eating many sweet potatoes, carrots, all that good stuff. Watch, good. Your, watch your shoes. They're, they're oh, dude, wide. come on, man. Hey, watch your shoes. Oh, sorry. I've got your head on your red bottoms today. Hey, 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 hey. If you do oh, oh, oh. If you describe this shoe, you mean to tell me you wouldn't say it's the white shoes with the red on the bottom? Of course. Dude, what are you That's even okay. doing? What are we supposed to do? What am I doing? I carried her out here. Come on, Matilda. You get a good scratch? Yeah, yeah. Brush the front of her arms. She likes the arms, the pads. Ow! That's oh, man, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? I'm washing the tortoise right now. It's not a good time. How many days can you say that at work? Okay. What are you doing? I'm washing a giant tortoise? Hello? I'm washing the tortoise right now. It's not a good time. It's like a car wash. But for a tortoise. Working at the car wash. Whoa. We're not wearing our bikinis, boys. Oh, look at that poop. Do more of that. Mike's like, yeah, do the poop thing. Yeah, yeah. do that poop. I love the poop stuff. Do the poop. The poop content's really growing on me. <laughs> the poop shoot needs to be clean. We're just gonna take the hose, we're just gonna try to spray this butt hole. No! <laughs> you want that light mist. I can girl. Watch you just start peeing. That's gonna feel good. Mm. Oh, I'm getting it now. It's me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's flashing in my face. <laughs> so is it okay? Can I give her a shower all over now? I think she's good now. Can we borrow their golf cart to carry her on the front? Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Clean. I don't know. Something. He was doing something with their bubble. I don't know. All right, guys. So we just gave Matilda a bath, and it went great. Not even. It's all blown out. I don't even know what that means. That's just what you guys say. <laughs> what do you think, Lori? What happened? What are they doing to you? You know what you can do is we've got that coconut oil. Come on, let's get it. Okay, I'll where is get it? it? Go get it. It's you know where it is. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna get that. Here, come on. You got her all scared. Ah! Oh my God! Oh! Oh! It looks like a yucca. Oh my God, dude! Oh my That's God! That's why we have the feeding tongs. Jeez, yes. It was just so lucky that his finger didn't get ripped off. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. good. We got bit by Matilda. Feed for that little piece, he, he got the finger. Got bit. <laughs> oh my god, you really got bit. So, we're gonna put a little bit of coconut oil. This is the same stuff I use in my hair. In case you guys were wondering how I keep these locks so luscious. You know, we can just actually share. You know, I get a little, she gets a little. But if you see, she really actually likes it. It probably feels so good. Oh! It's like literally lotion. See that motion right there? How you want to rub it in. Now Matilda looks absolutely incredible. We're gonna let her spend a little time outside, just soak up the sun, you know what I mean? She is amazing. Been wanting to do this for a long time. I'm so happy that the weather has finally warmed up here and we can do stuff like this with our animals outside. And by the way, welcome to the vlog, Reptile Army. I hope the start of your day is amazing. I told you, I couldn't be happier with Bugatti, the Bolens Python, and how it's been acting lately. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. So we're gonna go ahead and see if it can eat real quick. Come on, Bugatti, you want some food? Come on, I know you've been hungry. There it goes. Bugatti normally doesn't ever take it out of my hand. He has to actually have it just laid and he crawls up to it. So this is one of the first times it's ever eaten that way. That means it's definitely loving its enclosure. This is amazing. What a beautiful snake. Well, we're at, let's go ahead and feed Verde. Looks like she's ready. Come on, girl. Come on. She's like, yes, dad, give me some food. There you go, baby girl. Ah, oh, that's a good girl. Tell you what, that's awesome. Bugatti ate, Verde ate. I mean, I tell you what, I'm loving this. This is awesome. Next 
clutch is actually an Oreo Pueblin milk snake. And of course the Oreo Pueblins are the ones that don't have hardly any red on them. So let's go ahead and see how many eggs mama has. She actually is out of her box. We'll get her all cleaned up, get her cage all set, get her some water, get her all happy and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and see what mama has. Ooh, that's actually a beautiful clutch. Wow, she wasn't that big of a girl to have this many eggs. That's always super exciting. I love it. There's two, four, six, seven beautiful eggs. Tell you what, egg season is amazing. Hope you guys are enjoying it. We're probably about three quarters of the way through the Colubra clutches and about a third of the way through the Python clutches. So we still have a long way to go. This next clutch is actually an apricot Pueblin. You know, I always get confused. Is it apricot or is it an apricot? I don't know. I've said that a million times, but I don't really know what the actual thing is. It's both. That's like caramel and caramel. That's another one I actually struggle with too. Regardless, a beautiful girl will get her all cleaned up, get her some fresh water. You know the routine and we'll see what happens. Good clutch of eggs. Who doggy. I tell you what, that is amazing. And I always say, look at this. This is what always freaks me out. That little girl right here had all of those eggs in her. And I just wonder like, how is that even possible? I mean, mother nature always is incredible and it just blows me away all the time. She had two, four, six, seven good eggs. I mean, wow, that is a lot more eggs than I was expecting. Guess what time of the year it is? Gecko time. <laughs> so we finally are getting some baby yeah, geckos. We got huh? a lot today. Oh it's my not gosh. as much as we used to get, but right. we're, we're breeding a lot less. So. Yeah, we're breeding less. We're just trying to up the quality of the breeding and stuff like that and so on like that. Produce well, some more stuff. Holy we're cow, they're crazy. Like, this is like... This tangerine is going to be so nice. Oh my God. If I open this, is it going to be a disaster? Yes. Okay, so... Yeah. <laughs> you so can open it though here. Okay, I can, let's open. Let me just... It's like a soon as All right. So you can see these are tangerines right here that look absolutely incredible. We got a bunch of trempers here. These are gonna be, um, yep, they're trempers, but they're also tangerines. So the tangerine tangerines, tangerine trempers. We got, I mean, look this at all this. This one's a bell, this, this one's a, a rainwater, so. Oh, so we got, oh yes, yeah, so we got all three of the albinos hatch all at the same time. Of course, we got some Murphy's Patternless over here. And then here's a bunch more cool stuff. We got some cool patterns. Oh, geez, we're, we're all over the place. <laughs> That's the problem with geckos. They're all over the place. So, so it looks like we've got maybe about 20 or 25 geckos hatched out so far these are the very first geckos of the season but we have plenty more again we're not producing the tens of thousands that seem like we used to produce but we are producing a pretty good number still this year so it should be really fun so uh yeah we'll go ahead let jessica set these up and uh get them going and these will be on the website sometime in the future know about you guys but I sure am excited that we're back in egg cutting season and today we actually have nine eggs a pretty good clutch this was our third clutch of the year it was actually our first clutch last year with this pairing you get all kinds of combinations of pastel g-stripes g-stripes banana g-stripes pastel banana g-stripes regardless they're all gonna be g-stripes let's go to egg number one here we go again we know they're all gonna be g-stripes we just don't know what else is gonna be going on in them this looks like an actual just normal g-stripe right off the rip right I don't see any pastel in it got a really nice dorsal striping because some g-stripes aren't quite as good as other ones that is an absolute spectacular one egg number two here we go and again some clutches there's going to be lots of surprises and some clutches not so much this one at least we know there's going to be g-stripes but right off the rip we've got a banana g-stripe in here gosh it looks so pretty doesn't it banana a really tiny stripe on it now it could be a pastel banana g-stripe don't really know until they hatch out and actually go through a shed we'll find out that but nevertheless definitely a banana g-stripe possibly a pastel banana g-stripe Stripe. Egg number three. I tell you, G-stripes are just really cool. As a matter of fact, just recently I saw someone produce, this is another banana G-stripe for sure. Just recently I saw a G-stripe clown that someone produced and oh my goodness, that thing was crazy. So that's definitely a project I'm gonna be going on in the future. So that's two banana G-stripes, one G-stripes, egg number four. There we go. What do we have? Another banana g-stripe and this one definitely isn't pastel because you can see a lot of color look at that really cool striping on it i tell you banana g-stripes are unbelievable one of my favorite of the bananas for sure so we've already got three of them in this clutch and we still have five eggs to go there we go 
Oh, normal G-Stripe. Actually, this is a pastel G-Stripe, so that's really cool. Now, that pastel, you can see it's a little bit more diluted, has kind of a really cool look to it, so that is really cool. So we have a normal G-Stripe, three banana G-Stripes, and a pastel G-Stripe, egg number six. So far, I love it. I tell you what, just cutting eggs, it's just so freaking awesome. We got another normal G-Stripe here. And you can really see the difference between that pastel and the normal G-Stripe. The thing I love so far is the stripes on these G-Stripes are really good stripes. So this is this looking like a really banging clutch. We got three eggs. And here we go. What do we have now? Every egg is like another pastel G-Stripe. Another really beautiful stripe, too. Again, every egg is just like, it's like opening up Christmas every single day. It's absolutely incredible. Two eggs to go, and then we're done with egg cutting for the day. That's kind of sad, but let's cut this next egg. There we go. I see some darkness, which means it's probably at least a normal G-Stripe, if not a pastel G-Stripe. Let's see what we got. Yep, looks like a pastel G-Stripe. Again, just a lot more yellow. The normal G-Stripe's more brownish tan. These are more yellow. So we've been crushing it, man. We've been getting some really cool animals. Last egg, what will we have? I'm gonna call it a pastel banana G-Stripe. And you gotta be kidding me. It's a pastel banana cheese stripe. And by the way, guys, be careful when you're cutting eggs because you don't wanna hurt the animals, but you also don't wanna cut yourself. I get so excited that I literally cut myself cutting an egg. That is the first time I've ever cut myself while I've cut an eggs. I've been cutting eggs for like 30 years. That is absolutely crazy, but that's how excited I was. And it was cool that we called the last one. So uh, that's it for egg cutting for the day. Down here in the dungeon, only mean one thing, right? So pick whatever song you want and roll that intro. And this happens to be a beautiful chocolate pinstripe, and she's bred to that banana chocolate spinner, meaning that that was the Barney project from before. We all know now the Barney project isn't a purple snake, but it's still the foundation of something that could potentially be a purple snake down the road. So I'm still super excited to produce these, and you know, any banana chocolate stuff, absolutely incredible. The fact that we can get banana super stuff, absolutely incredible. So let's just go ahead and see. Mama looks like she's got a beautiful clutch of eggs here. Oh my goodness. Mama, don't bite me, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and get these eggs out of here. I'm telling you what, this is a absolutely gorgeous clutch. Whoa. She's not happy, I can understand that. That's just part of it. You know, we'll get her all cleaned up. Soon enough, she'll forget about those eggs. She'll get back onto food and she'll get ready for breeding next year. In the meantime, wow, look at this clutch right here. Two, four, six, eight, nine beautiful eggs. Again, not gonna be a purple snake, but it is still gonna be some really cool banana chocolate stuff that eventually, I'm telling you what, will be the Barney Ball Python. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor. Right over here, you can watch this playlist if you want more videos. You know what I mean. On this side, do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate you. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.